Hey, what's up everybody? Lawrence Moroni here from the Firebase team, and welcome to another episode of Firecasts. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to sign in with Google using Firebase Auth on Android, and from that, you'll be able to see how you can sign in with other providers too. You'll be up and running with this feature in just a few minutes, so let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to make sure that you have a development environment properly set up. To get started with Firebase and Android, use Android Studio to create a new project. Just accept the default form factors and create one with an empty activity. Whenever you change any of the Gradle files, you'll see this message telling you that a sync may be necessary. It's good just to sync it. In your module level build.gradle, you'll need to add the class path to the Google Services package as shown. Then, in your app level build.gradle, you'll apply the Google Services plugin. If you sync, you'll see an error that there's a missing Google Services JSON file. Don't worry, that's easy to fix. You do this from the Firebase console. If you don't have a project already, create one and follow its steps. Once you're done, you'll see the project on this screen. Simply select the project, and you'll see the apps associated with it. Click the Add App button and select Android. You'll now need the package name and the SHA1. The package name is what you use when you're specifying your app, and the SHA1 can be gotten from your debug key store like this. Paste them in and then add the app. You'll see that the Google Services JSON file gets downloaded to your machine. Select the project view and then open your app. Drag the file into the app folder as shown. Now when you Gradle sync, you'll see that everything works and you're ready to build in Firebase. OK, great. Now that you have a working development environment set up, the next steps will be to build a simple app that lets you sign in with Google on Android. You'll import the required files, create a simple single activity app, and then finally code this app with a sign-in button that signs into Google and then tells your app the ID of the signed-in person. Let's get going. Before you start coding your Android app, make sure you have everything properly set up in the Firebase console. If you've done that, you'll see it in the overview screen like this. Next, ensure that Auth is enabled for your project, which you can do in the Auth section. Select the sign-in method that you want, and in this case, it's Google. In Android Studio, check your build.gradle. Make sure that the Play Services Auth libraries are included. And then in your layout file, specify that you're using a sign-in button, and you'll get it at runtime. Then in your code, there's a few steps that you need to follow. First is to create a Google Sign-in Options object that specifies your sign-in scope and use this to create a Google API client. When the user clicks the Sign In button, you create a Sign In intent and the activity for that. You can see it here. You get the intent from the API and start an activity for it. Then on the result, you'll be able to get the user's data. You get a Google Sign In result object from the data that comes back from the intent. And from this, you can get a Google Sign In account from which you can get the display name. As you'll see in the demo, we get the user's email address and effectively turn it into a friendly name and display it. Signing out is even easier. You simply call the Sign Out API, catch its result, and you can update your UI from that. Let's look at this in action. Here's the app we've been building. We have the branded Sign In button and a Sign Out button. When we click the Sign In button, we're given a picker. You pick the account that you want, and then once you've been signed in, you're good to go. You can sign back out again, and this clears the UI. When you sign in, you're also given the option to add an account, and then you're taken into the flow to add a new user. I won't go through that now. I'll just go back and pick an account with the picker. That's how easy it is to add sign in with Google to an Android app with Firebase. There you go. You've just built your first app that signs in with Google on Android, and it only took a few minutes. You're now ready to personalize your app or maybe add other service providers such as Facebook, GitHub, and more. That's it for this Firecast. Please leave your questions in the comments below or reach out on Twitter and G using the Ask Firebase hashtag. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and thanks for watching.